So this is the rear end of the mower deck. As you can see, I've had to take the rear roller back out. That was because this height adjuster rod that goes to the front wheels, I couldn't get it to tuck into its position with the roller in place. So I've taken the roller off, I've rebolted this deck panel in. We've got four, one, two, three, four bolts there holding that in place, and then underneath here from the other side there's a bolt as well. Um, so it takes a bit of juggling about. It's going to take a bit of juggling to get the rear roller in as well, but so uh, you know to get to get that in. I could have attached this to the roller first and then pushed it through the front wheels but this is much trouble getting it into the front wheels as it is into the back so, yeah, so it's all going to take a bit of juggling um, it's a bit time consuming right as you can see the control arm for the height adjusters in position now the rollers all bolted back in and there's the spring I don't know if you can see in there the spring attaches into the control rod instead of into the um, roller frame as I thought it did before so it goes through the control rod and I'm just about to pull it out through the body and as you can see if you put a plastic tie on it and then put some leverage on it you can lever it through and put the dowel in well, as you can see I've put the dowel in it now but you get the general idea it goes dropping out again you put the lever on it and it pulls it through you put the dowel in and then you just cut the plastic tie off right, and you see with the uh, plastic tie pulled out that's all in position it's done so that's that done in the last video I showed the uh, blade plate there but that is the old one which is <coughs> obviously why it needed replacing so pretty thick metal really but it's just around the, around the boss that it broke but uh, yeah anyway that's why I needed to replace that this is also another plate that uh, I've got to remake this fits up underneath It's up there just to stop any grass getting up on the uh, mechanism, you know, the height adjusting mechanism, and stops the grass getting in behind the pulley as well. But I'll uh, got some sheet metal down here, so I just cut a new one out and repeat and make a new one. Right, it's a little bit later in the day. You can see I've uh, made the repair panel because um, I could have could have cut the rot out of that and patched it up but what's the point you know it's taken me about half an hour to knock that up a um, couple of tips on cutting sheet metal I uh, as you can see normally I would just mark the shape you see that mark the shape of what I want to cut out and in my case I've got loads of pallets down the workshop but you can always clamp a bit of wood into a vise and then clamp the metal to the wood and it gives you a nice firm background obviously you put a second clamp on here normally I've only just put this back on to show you how I did it and then you can use the angle grinder gives you both hands free for the angle grinder and cut off you can move it around whatever angles you want and cut your basic shape out once you cut it out of the big sheet of metal and you've got the small small piece that you you actually want to keep and it's easier just to trim it up um, to the sizes that you want them but I say makes a good rigid background it's safe to use and always always use uh, eye protection when you're using angle grinders and that just shows how it fits in as you can see pretty good fit oh, I've got to paint it before I bolt it back on so I'll just take that back off again in a second and give both sides of it a coat of paint probably hammer right um, it's got a good weather resistance. 